and this one too. Let's see, there it is. And these two, I copied them, maybe I didn't need to, but they don't have anything to set. Um, so the damage now. Let's change this to basic cannon damage. And the amount, I'm going to set it to 35 because um, for my for my waves of units that I'm going to be s sending just for this tutorial, I'm just going to use default zerglings for the first wave and they have 35 health, so it seems fitting to just make the damage amount 35. Uh, that's all we need there. And this one now, let's change this to our basic cannon. Oops, okay. Um, this should all be good for now, I think. And footprints, models, okay, turrets. Um, I'm not going to bother renaming that, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, weapon, photon cannon. Let's make sure this... That's correct. Okay, and here's these attack speeds. Let's make that one. It's a little bit faster than usual. Um, and let's change this name to basic cannon, phase cannon, basic cannon. I guess that's okay. Um, tool tip, I'm leaving it like that for now, but um, that's where you'd want to change it, I believe, to uh, for, for the weapon information to be correct. Uh, let's see. And one thing that you'll learn about the data editor is that um, if I were to put this unit in the game and it would start shooting, the, the the shots would just be blank. There would be no energy ball. And I discovered that there's actually two actors here that you want to copy that somehow don't show up. And so you don't need to duplicate any of those, but you just need to copy this and set and uh, set its units to your your. Oops. Um, the custom one we made, so phase cannon damage. I mean, not phase cannon, phase cannon basic cannon, and now phase cannon basic cannon launch missile. So it's it's referencing ours. Otherwise, you just won't have uh, you won't have any like energy ball. And this one too. Um, duplicate it. I'm just leaving them as copy for now because I'm just being kind of lazy. But uh, when you do it, you want to be clear and make it the correct thing. So copy is my basic cannon. So that that could add confusion later if I didn't uh, change that. And of course, photon. You want to change this because I believe it's doing that stupid data editor thing where it puts a two on things like that. Um, I don't. I don't think I need to change that. And let's just check this one as well. Make sure the model's okay. Or the missile, yeah, that should be okay. Um, yeah, so let's save again. Let's go back to our units. We have our photon cannon here. And one thing you want to check that I missed a second ago was the, where is it? Uh, the resources. Where... The repair resources, sorry, I'm just looking for it right now. There we go. It's in blue even. Okay, I'm just going to make it one because we're going to make the tower only cost uh, one one mineral. Uh, let's see. So, now we have to go back to our builder. And under builder build, we go to info tab here. And we can leave all these. They just won't be used. Um, but oh, and before we do this, actually, we need to create a custom button um, for warping in, warp in photon can for warping in, so that it has the right tooltip. Uh, duplicate, okay, and warp in basic cannon. That's fine. Uh, hockey's fine. Um, you can change the tooltip if you want, I'm just going to leave it for now. And let's go back to our unit tab and our builder. And back into the build. And where's info? Here it is. 
So let's change uh, warping photon cannon. We d we could change nexus if or add another one if we wanted, but um, we'll change this to warp in basic cannon. That's our button that we just made. And if you go all the way to the bottom, I don't know why it's at the bottom. Um, you'll see the building that gets built. So we want to go to B, which and then find our basic cannon, and it's, let's make it take only one second. And uh, as well, uh, the resource cost we want it to just be one. Okay. So if you had other buildings, you can replace them or replace those or put them even here. So you can have up to 30 buildings, it looks like. Um, I guess that's the maximum number of command cards or in the interface. Let's save. Uh, okay, so our building is buildable. Let's go in here and layer units or press U. And Oh, and before we do this, let's set up the players. So player 1 will be a user. And you can add as many players as you want. Uh, player 2 could be a user as well, and then the creep the creep waves could be player 10 as a computer, but I'm just going to have player 1 user and player 2 being a computer player. That will be our bad guy in this case, and let's go to layer points or P, and make some start positions. 1, 2, done, and let's go back to players. So player 1, start location is going to be start location 1, player 2, the computer is going to have that. I go to I go to team advanced, create a new team, so the de defender is going to be start location 1, or aka player 1, and the uh, creeps is going to be player 2. And that's good, so now they're enemies. Let's save. Go back to our uh, data editor. So this builder that I made, I should be able to go in here go to units and player one is good and we should see under units here we should see our builder there he is and we will place him here and that in, in some cases you want to do like a dialogue pop-up at the start of a game through triggers to say pick your race or a building where you can choose a builder out of but in this case we're just going to uh, have the builder right away since it's so simple and only one race to choose from for your for this tower defense um, so now we can go to the trigger editor finally, and since and since I've already done this before, obviously, um, I'm not going to be doing this in the same order that I would on the spot because it takes too long and I'm too all over the place. But I will do this in a pretty decent order, so you should have an idea of what's going on. So delete all the melee crap, uh, rename this to just init because it's not melee initialization. Um, and in this, what we want to do f before going into here is, well, what I'm going to do right now, but what you'll, what you'd probably do in a different order is that you need to make a global variable, um, which is a unit type array, um, and this this variable is going to be called wave types. So it's going to define all the wave types. So wave zero might be zerglings, wave one might be uh, hydralisks, or whatever custom units you make. I'm just going to be using the default units because, as as you saw, it took so long to go through the data editor to make a builder and a building. So I can't imagine making 20 custom units that are for each wave uh, in one tutorial. So we have our wave types. The size of this um, array is the number of waves. So I'm only going to do five waves for this tutorial. Um, but you need to increase it to whatever thing you want so that um, when you go into here, go new new element or new action. If I if I clicked on actions and go new element, it's going to be an action. Um, go down to variable, set variable, set, um, let's see, wave types number zero. So wave zero, aka the first wave, is going to be a, uh, maybe a drone. That's pretty easy to kill. Uh, wave one is going to be circling. 